nigga in his face like who's the two? I need 25k who I ain't walking through. I need 25k who I ain't walking through. Did y'all miss me? Did y'all miss me? Now, I know it's very rude to sit here and talk to y'all without me being on the screen. Y'all yeah, feel me? But I just want to know, did y'all miss me? Now, I haven't been consistent, you know? But I do miss y'all. Now, if it wasn't for my new subscribers, I don't even know if I would be posting this video. But I did miss y'all. What? Yo, what's good, y'all? Like, what's good? Happy New Year. Happy freaking Three Kings. Happy all of that. Feel me? This is 2020. All 2019, I've been promising y'all bangers. I've been promising y'all new content. I've been promising y'all a lot of things. And that's the point of this video to get everything cleared up. Especially you guys. Why haven't I, like, you know, did other content? Why haven't I, like, been uploading consistently like I promised you guys? And I really want y'all to listen. Now, a lot of you guys was, like, probably wondering what's up with me, like, you know? And this is, this is the video where I'm not going to say a lot of my business, but I will give y'all, like, a little majority of what, you know... What kept me behind, you know? What actually, like, what controlled me? Because this might sound dumb. You know, coming from me, if y'all haven't watched my previous videos, y'all already know what kind of person I am, you feel me? But it's just that I feel like it's, it's time to, like, be honest, tell the truth, you know? It's a new year, it's time to do new things. People do change, not overnight. People do change. I don't know where to start from, you know? I don't know where, where can I like, you know, start? How can I explain? But I'ma just explain it the way, best way possible, like the best way I can ever think of. Explain to you guys why haven't I done what I promised I was gonna do. But this is a new year. I've been doing new things, y'all, you feel me? This is, uh. I wish I could say how many days, you know, it's been since I stopped smoking weed. You guys know in my previous video, I was a weed smoker. Like, I love to smoke weed because that healed my pain, you feel me? I, I was going through so much pain, I let I let the weed control it, you know? I let the weed control my feelings. I let the weed control my life. I can't even say control my life because I was doing other things, but I just had to smoke. Like, I wake up, I gotta smoke. Three hours later, I gotta smoke. I'm playing 2K, I lose a game, I get tight, I gotta smoke. I'm arguing with a female on the phone, I gotta smoke. Um, I'm stressed out, I'm overthinking, I'm, I'm like going crazy, I gotta smoke. I feel like I'm getting like, I feel like I'm not relaxed, I need to like, I need something to calm me down or whatever, whatever, I gotta smoke. I use every excuse to smoke weed. And that and that's what that's what, what was sad, you know? That's what that's what made me like lazy. It, ma it made me not want to do anything. Or I have to go take care of my business. After smoking that spliff, I don't want to do nothing no more. I just want to be high and lay down. And that's that's something that I, I realized in my life. You know, but it's time to get to the point of the video, you feel me? I want to sit here and explain to you guys what controlled my life in 2019. And I want to let this video be bygones, be bygones, you feel me? Because after this video, I'm leaving all that energy that happened in 2019 in 2019. This is a new year. It's time to do new things. And I know a lot of people be like, yo, enough of the saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and just do it. And I'm going to do it. You feel me? I'm going to do it this year. No matter what I have to do, I'm going to do it. If I have to spend extra money to do what I have to do, I'm going to do it. If I got to meet other people, I'm going to do it. If I got to promote my channel every hour of the day on my Instagram, I'm going to do it. Now, again, 
I might never said this And I never made this clear If you follow me on Instagram And you feel some type of way of me promoting my content On my channel Y'all can simply unfollow me Do not hit my inbox Yo, why you always gotta promote your channel When I don't really promote it I barely promote my channel Only time I promote my channel Is when I post a new vid After that video is posted I don't promote it no more if I get a new subscriber, that's when I will promote it. But that's, I barely promote my channel. But do I care how you feel? I do not care how you feel. It's my page. I can do what the fuck I want. Now, that's one thing I got to stop doing. I got to stop cursing. I got to stop cursing in my face because that's something I want to do in the future is get sponsored. Nobody want to sponsor. Nobody's going to be cursing in their vids. But don't, don't sit here and hit me up on my DMs talking about like, yo, why you got to consistently promote your channel? Don't be a hater. You feel me? Be a supporter, my nigga. Be a supporter. You feel me? Um, I need a haircut. But my waves are still there, you feel me? My waves are still, you feel me? Relax, 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 relax. But anyway... Anyway, um, in 2019, I let, I, let, I let a lot of things control me. Like, it controlled my mind. It controlled how I think. But one thing I do want to make clear is my last relationship. <sighs> that last relationship, man, I let that shit control the fuck out of me. Again, I'm sorry for cursing, but a lot of y'all love me because of who I am and, and what, because I'm like, y'all feel like I'm real. And I'm glad y'all feel that way because that's something I'm very in. I'm very real. I'm very blunt. If I feel some type of way, I'm letting you know how I feel. And if you know me, anybody that knows me can tell you Kenneth has a reckless mouth. He has no filter. He would tell you exactly how he feels. And that's just me. I tell people how I feel. If I feel like you need to know about yourself, I'm gonna tell you about yourself. It's simple. I let my relationship control on how I feel towards other people. And a lot of people was dissing themselves from me because I was so focused on one thing, and that's fixing it. I was trying to fix something that was already broken. I was trying to fix something that wasn't meant to be fixed. I wasted my time. And I say that, and I would say it again, I wasted my time. Because to this day, look where I'm at. Happy. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing things that I really wanted to do. I feel what I really wanted to feel, and that's happy. I let that young girl. Now, I'm not going to call her her government. I'm not going to call her a B word. I'm not going to call her none of that because. I'm just not that type of person. I'm not going to call you out your government. You feel me? But I let the young lady and my feelings that I had for this young lady control me throughout the whole 2019. The whole 2019. Now, for the woman that I speak to now, if you're watching this video, I gave you every detail on what happened in this relationship. But I don't want you to feel like I'm actually like, I still care. But this is a video that I wanted to put out there on my channel to let everybody know that you shouldn't let no one or anything control your life because you only have one life to live. So I hope you do not hold this over my head which I'm pretty sure you might not because of the woman you are and that's what I love about you. Whatever your past was the past is just what's happening right now and that's what you always tell me and I respect you for that. But I just felt like this was a video that I had to throw out there. This is a video I had to like, you know, create. You feel me? Um, but with that being said, I'm not trying to throw no shots at, the girl, at this young lady but 
I realized too late that she needed to grow up. She got a lot of growing up to do. Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to downgrade her because she was a great woman, you feel me? She just... She just, like, as in, like, she's trying to be someone she's not. You feel me? Now, it's, it's so much things I want to say, but I just feel like there's certain things that I should not say. You feel me? Like... Cause I don't wanna like feel like I don't want her to feel like or anyone to feel like I'm just trying to talk, you know, shit. When I'm not, I'm not trying to talk shit, but I'm just like, I'm a real person. I I talk about what I see. With that being said, y'all like, I let my feelings control my life. Since the new year, I started praying. I start I stopped overthinking. Cause that was another thing. I was really another thing. This, the, the whole, the whole, everything that I was feeling and doing and trying to fix, it was really messing with this. My mental wasn't right. My mom wasn't right. You feel me? Like, I, I felt like I was going crazy. I was losing out opportunities with other females because I was crazy. Like, I was... I was saying things, I was doing things that make other females question like, what's good with you? Yo, there was times that I had females in my life that asked me like, yo, why is your head like that? Why do you think like that? And, and, and what can I say? And, and all I could say was, I'm right. Because you're always supposed to stick up for yourself. You're always supposed to be there for yourself. But when these females was like explaining like how they like what they think of me, it was very embarrassing because I knew deep inside what was wrong with me. I knew deep down inside where my mom was at. I was focusing on one thing and I was fixing things with her. Everything that I wanted to do, I wanted to involve her. Everything I was thinking about, I was involving her. I wanted to make someone happy. That someone was always her. It was always her, her, her. But when it was something that I wanted, or it was something that I wanted to get done, it never got done. But I'm not, like I said, um, if she ever watches this video, like I said, I'm not trying to throw any shot tattoo. I'm not trying to get your attention. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just speaking how I feel and I'm speaking what's really, what really went on. But one thing I did learn is once something is broken and you feel like it's not broken, but the other person feels like it's broken, do not fix it. It's not, it's, it won't be worth fixing. It'll be a waste of your time. It'll be a waste of your energy. When I say it wastes your energy, it drains you. So that that's that is something that I mainly let control me and my feelings and the things that I wanted to do throughout the whole 2019. And that's sad. I look back and I think like, damn, like I, I wasted a whole year of my life trying to like fix something. A lot of you guys probably questioning me like why you guys broke up. But that right there doesn't even matter. It don't matter why we broke up. If you really want to know why we broke up, watch my previous videos. I explained a couple of my videos why we broke up. I can tell you we broken up two years ago. And I was still trying to fight it to fix it. Why? I love to. I really did. But that's not the only thing that sat there and controlled me and how I feel and what I wanted to do in 2019. Um, but yeah, y'all, like I said, y'all love me because I'm, I'm real. This is what y'all like, you feel me? I'm real. It is what it is. And I hope my future wife, the person I'm dealing with now, don't look at me any different due to this video. But this video had to drop. This video had to drop. Simple. 
But with that being said, that's not the only thing that, you know, controlled on how I felt and what I wanted to do. And it was a lot of things that, a lot of personal things that I'd rather not, you know, share on social media because social media nowadays is a total different breed. It's a total different breed now. When I was back in high school, social media was never like this. Now you could get famous off of social media? That's tough! But just me thinking back of when 2019 brought me son, it just brought me nothing but negativity. Like, I, I told myself I want to make changes throughout the middle of 2019 and then nothing. Nothing. I go back to smoking OD. The only th changes I made was me making a YouTube channel. That's the only change I made in 2019. And that's sad. But 2020, it, it woke me up. Like for some odd reason, once January 1st, 2020 came, I had a whole mindset different. I felt weird. I felt different. Like when I say I felt different, I felt happier. Like I felt like I eliminate all the toxic energy out of my life. Then I started doing new things. Like I was smoking. I really felt like I'm like, yo, I don't want this no more. It was a time that I was smoking a whole blunt. I told I'm like I'm 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 here smoking, smoking. I'm just like after the third pull. I was already high after the third pull. After the third pull, I'm looking at the spliff like You know, I blew the smoke on. I'm just looking at it like, so I don't even want this. Do that bitch out. Do that. Let it out. Let the cherry out. Literally threw it out the window. Finito. I couldn't go back to it because it was already outside the window on the floor. And it was raining that day. So it was no going back. I washed it out of my hands. Like, I don't want to smoke no more. I don't like the feeling no more. Like, like, son, the feeling I had when I was smoking that spliff, yo, I wish I could bring my mans that was with me into this video and he would tell you, like, this nigga looked like he was about to die. So, I, yo, I was sweating. My shirt was soaked or sweat. I literally had my jacket on. My, I had to take off my jacket. I had to open windows. I felt like I was going to faint. I said, this is what I'm talking about. When I smoke, I feel this. I hate, I hate this feeling. I hate it. Then I felt like I needed to pray more. Talk to God more, you know? Now, y'all probably going to be laughing at me when I say this. Because I look like I have no Christian in me, but I'm Christian. I got baptized when I was little, but I do need to get baptized again. I need some God in my life. I'm going I'm to admit that I need God in my life. I'm about to be 26 years old. Before this video dropped, my birthday is February 6th. I will be 26 years old. It's time to grow up. It's time to do different things. All 2019, I was telling myself, yo, I want to do construction. I want to do construction. I want to do construction. But I got to get my OSHA card. Oh, next check, I'm going to get my OSHA card. I get that check. I don't get my OSHA card. Oh, the following check, I'm going to go get my OSHA card. I get that check. I don't end up spending that bread on the OSHA card. But this year, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm definitely getting my OSHA card. I don't want to hear nothing. Nada. Not a goddamn thing. Twenty nineteen was a bad year for me. It was negative. It was all hurt, pain. It was a really a trash year for me in 2019. And I'm glad it ended and now I feel happy. I feel good. It got me more focused now that it's over. I'm focused, y'all. Now I hope I don't get bashed out this video, you know. Leave all that negative all on 2019. Leave all that shit over there. I'm just real, y'all. 
It's more things I would love to share with y'all, but it's certain things that I just got to keep to myself. But one thing before this video ends, I want to make it clear. I wasn't throwing shots at anyone. I wasn't trying to downgrade anyone. I'm just speaking how I felt. I'm speaking what I see, and I'm speaking on what I know. That's it. So I hope no one feels some type of way about this video. But with that being said, y'all, I think I, I just thought it was best for me to throw this video out there, you know? But, um, but with that being said, I gotta have some new bangers for y'all for 2020. I'm on the road to a thousand subs. I want to thank every single one of y'all for subscribing to my channel. I really do. But with that being said, if you're new and you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, I won't mind. I won't get hurt. I won't feel some type of way if you give this video a thumbs down. Because at the end of the day, you support it. You show love. It's just that simple. But again, I appreciate y'all. And I'm out!